Hello, everybody. Thanks for listening to Wake Up, Look Up, a podcast where we connect events happening in real time to the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm Zach Wyrock. And in today's episode, we're talking about nursery school, and we're asking the question, is college for adults? And before you jump in and say, of course, you should keep listening because it's not what you think. In fact, this comes from an opinions piece in the New York Times just this past week, written by a professor at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, in which she was lamenting two trends in college life that she thinks are destructive, and I agree. The first is that universities are de-emphasizing accountability. Uh, Schools are inflating grades so that students inherently have to succeed. They are accommodating poor behavior. Even some schools going so far as saying it isn't until you violate a policy three times before you face any repercussions. We've seen that violent protests are happening on college campuses with seeming immunity for those involved. So a low level of accountability combined with a low level of adulthood. She makes note of how some schools are requiring students to run everything by them, even if you want to have a party on campus, and even schools policing negative opinions and creating safe places where students can be free of opinions that bother them. So we're getting less accountable and becoming less of an adult, so much so that the article actually suggests it's entirely possible that you send your child away for college and they come back even more childish than when you sent them. Uh, This is a concerning trend for a number of reasons, but let me give you three things to think about. Number one, infantilizing young adults isn't good for them. This is a generation where we are pushing back adulthood to late 20s, early 30s. We call people who are 22 kids. We don't expect them to have a job or get married or begin a family. So at an age where many of us were already doing all of those things, we're now thinking about that 22-year-old as though they're a prolonged 17-year-old. And the consequence of that kind of purposeless, meaningless, attached this life is not that they're happier, but that they're less happy. We've covered this on Wulu. Uh, Loneliness, anxiety, depression are on the rise with young adults because when you take away the adult piece, you don't get a happier person. You get a confused, angry child. The second thing, though, is that infantilizing young adults isn't good for us. We need them as a society to step into adulthood and to become men and women who can lead, who can who can serve, who can drive the economy or education or government forward. Our hope is that the next generation is better than the one before it and that that continues as the as our country makes progress and as the world continues to move forward. But that isn't happening if we are treating young adults as though they are children. They need to grow up for them. We also need them to grow up and step up into leadership. Listen, the Bible affirms the need for generations to be what they are supposed to be. There are whole sections of the Bible calling young men and young women to step into adulthood, into responsibility, into marriage, into families, into careers, into lives that God has for them. Our call should be to help young men and women step into that and not away from that. Prolonging actual living isn't good for anyone. But this leads to a final conclusion, which is to say, as a parent, your child's growth, your child's education, your child's progress is your problem. It's your responsibility. Don't just farm it out blindly to universities, which are seeking to infantilize them. Listen, I have kids who are coming up on college. And after reading about it this week, I can tell you that we won't just be looking at who has the best academic curriculum or the dorms or the cafeteria or campus life. We'll be asking the question, which school takes seriously its responsibility to form our children into adults? Which school wants to partner with us as parents into calling our children to become the men and women that God has for them 
to be. Make that a part of your college choice. Make that part of what you are looking for. And then finally, in the church, let's be the one place in the life of young adults that is telling them to step up, that is making room for them to step up, which is telling them that a a prolonged childhood isn't good for anyone. God wants more for them, more from them, and that the result of that is going to be a life of meaning and purpose and value and joy. It's time to grow up. That should be our message. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. While you're here, we'd love to ask you to hit subscribe or to like so you get future content. If you listen to the audio version too, make sure you leave a review and a comment. That really helps. Consider sharing it on social media and helping us get the word out. And hey, while you're here, check out all the other content that Christ Community Chapel is putting out, including the videos that are around me right now.